Hello everybody and welcome back to Weaver's Wonderful World. Now, I don't know how many of you actually know this, but I am a tabletop roleplay enthusiast. I play a lot of Dungeons and Dragons. However, recently with my gaming group, we have put together a Star Wars RPG, which is the old Wizards of the Coast RPG that we're doing because not really sure how I feel about the Fantasy Flight game. So these are two figures that I picked up to use as miniatures for that game because we're going to be going up against a shade of Vader and in the storyline Luke Skywalker is our master. So uh, let's get into this unboxing of Luke Skywalker and Darth Vader Operative Expansion. So here we are, everything's unpacked from the box. You have the pieces in one little baggie. They are separated from each other, which means you do have to put together and paint these, which is okay because I actually like painting miniatures. I find it to be rather fun and relaxing if I'm doing it while watching something on like YouTube. Here's Vader's pieces all together, head, arms, lightsaber, body, legs, and each one comes with the base and everything that you'll need in the game for these specific uh, operatives. Now, I'm not actually going to be playing Legion anytime soon. I'm probably going to be getting into something more like Warhammer 40k, though I would play Legions because like I said, it's a mini game and I do plan on buying uh, a lot of the miniature figures for our Star Wars game. But everything comes with little instructions that allow you to understand the character and what it what they're used for. So I don't have any super glue at this time, but when I do, I'll throw these together and uh We'll go over them once I put them together and then I'll probably do a short painting video of them. So, we'll see you in three, two, one. set up to paint now and the front row of paints is gonna be what I use for their clothes and highlighting and for Luke's hair and skin. The back row I'm gonna be using for their lightsaber blades and then the row after that is going to be a wash to give them more detail. I've got my wet palette and my mug that has da -da -da -da, both Luke Skywalker from Return of the Jedi and Darth Vader on it. And I'm going to be using this to wash and clean the brush. Now, as you can see, I've already gone ahead and primed them with a gray primer. Uh, it'll allow me to see all the details that are going into it. Make sure that I get the entire figure itself and don't miss any spots. Uh, I missed a few areas on him because I had to put them together. So like up in this little recess, I'm not going to be able to really paint it that efficiently but not very many people are going to see it, so it doesn't really matter. All right, so we're gonna get into painting. And this part is gonna be sped up. All right, so as you can see, while I went through and some of this paint is still wet, uh, I had to grab on to Vader in a different area and I did mess up on a few different things so I'm gonna let this paint completely dry and then I'm gonna re-go over all the areas that I messed up. So I'll be back in a bit. Alright, now that it's dry I'm gonna go back over all the spots that I buggled up on and repaint them. Those 
dry again. And then after that, we're gonna move on to Luke's skin and hair, which I'm gonna be using Minotaur Black and Fair Skin for. Now, I know I'm using D&D &D paints for this, but I think it's from Army Paints. But they're done by Army Painter War Paints, which is a very good company for miniatures. And this is probably what I'm going to be painting all of my D&D figures with anyways. And since this is for roleplay, I am going to be using the D&D &D paints. Now that the black is done on both of these, we are going to do Luke's face and hair and his hand. So we'll, go, we'll start with his face. We'll use this fine flesh for it. Right now, I'm only using what I have, and if I need better f flesh tone, and redo it. But right now, this'll work well. I'm gonna use a finer detailed brush for this. Make sure to clean off the black that I used earlier. see I did make a mistake and got a little bit right there but with the black paint just easily cover that back up and it'll be good to go now I gotta let this dry and I'll put it on a second coat but I'm not gonna do that on camera and then once I'm done with so next we're going to use the Minotaur hide to do Luke's hair. Alright, so there's his hair. I think that brown is actually thick enough that I do not need a second coat. But we will see once it dries. Once that dries, I'm gonna go over a little bit of fine detail on Vader's mask using a gray to make his eyes. That way they just stand out a little bit more. I know he doesn't really have gray eyes as portrayed here, but I want his eyes to be noticeable and stand out a bit. And I'll probably do the same with his ventilator right here. didn't do a fantastic job but it actually pops a little bit more so I do like it and I'm I didn't mess up on his nose piece a little bit so I just went back and put a little bit more black paint over it all right so Luke should be dry now which he is and that actually looks pretty good so I don't think I have to worry about putting a second coat on it now, like I said, this these aren't going to be perfect, and I'm not trying to make them perfect. I'm just trying to give them a little more detail, make them look a little bit better than just a gray blob. So next, I'm going to take that same gray that I used on Vader's mask, and this little flap right here on his chest, I'm going to paint that. My hands will stop shaking. All right, so next, I'm actually gonna take a little bit of white and finally, as well as I can, considering I don't have a detail brush that fine yet. I eventually will be getting one though. I'm gonna take a bit of white and I'm going to make his eyes. So let's hope I can do this without really messing anything up. <laughs> trying to do the pupils right now and they are just a dot right, now we're gonna do a bit of detailing I'm going to be adding silver to Luke's lightsaber his buckle and a few other things such as these little belt loops down here on Vader his little panel here and some of his belt I'm going to be doing silver on as well. That's all the detailing that I'm going to do on these 
at the moment. But not bad if I do change so myself. So next, I am going to do the lightsaber blades themselves. Looks like that's gonna need a couple of different coats on it. So I'm gonna let that dry and I'm gonna work on Vader's blade. We're gonna be using Dragon Red for his. Or we were using Green Flames for Luke's. Now we're gonna add a little bit of Fire Newt Orange to it to brighten that up just a little bit and add some highlights to the blade. All right, so off camera, I finished up Luke's lightsaber blade. It looks pretty decent. I don't need to ha add any highlights in there because you can see that there are some places where I didn't hit very hard, but at the same time, I think it looks pretty good like that. So I think I will leave it in that state. Now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add a wash and we have a flesh wash, a shadow wash, and a brown wash. I'm gonna use the brown wash for his hair. I'm gonna use the flesh wash for his face and his hand. And then I'm gonna use the shadow wash for everything else even though it's black and you can't really see it. But before I do that, I am going to add some dry brushing to both Vader and Luke. So here we go. pretend to be the best at this. I think that actually looks pretty good, in my humble opinion. I did a good job on Vader's front, but I did terrible on his cape. But I'm gonna leave it as is, cause I kinda like it that way. It shows, it'll actually show the progression of me getting better as I go on. So next up, we're going to do the washes on Luke's hair and face, and then we should be and done. To make a life a little bit easier on me since I don't have every necessary thing that I really need to be able to do a good wash in multiple different shades, I'm just gonna go ahead and use shadow wash on both of them all over. <laughs> first models I have painted in years and honestly this is the first time I've ever used a wash so I'm gonna let these dry and then they should be finished so that's it for this model painting of Luke Skywalker and Darth Vader from Star Wars Legions. Thank you for joining me on Weaver's Wonderful World. And remember, breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Donuts are the best breakfast food. So eat up, stay healthy, and I'll catch you in the next one. May the force be with you.